like a hell cut. Hey everybody, Marcellus here, and it's been a long, long time since we've done a Ferrier video. Uh, situation at the minute is the season finishes um, tomorrow. I managed to get myself up to rank um, one, two-ish, um, but didn't ever bother um, pushing for God rank. Um, so, with um, with less than 24 hours until the new season, um, figured we'd try and push for God rank together. So. Not sure how long it's going to take, um, not sure necessarily which deck's probably going to be the best to do it. Um, however, while you're here, um, just to run you through, um, I'm going to use two decks, try and get myself into god mode, both orientated around yellow cards. So we've got the yellow rush deck, which is essentially Jokesy's deck, for those of you that play Faria uh, likely know who Jokesy is, go check out his channel, he's awesome. Um, and we've also got the sort of um, event based deck, the yellow red um, three wishes deck as well, um, which we can also use with a slight variant um, to jokes. It's just a couple of cards difference, I think. I've got, I roll with one less um, three wishes card. So, as you can see, um, if you go into play and we go to pick a battle online, uh, at the moment I'm ranked two, three stars off rank two. Um, so if I win one, um, that should get me two stars. So, I mean, yeah, if we won all of the matches, we're probably talking, um, what, like, maybe like five or six matches, if I managed to win them all, would see us through to God rank. So, um, yeah, we're just going to give it a whirl and see how we get on. Uh, thanks very much for stopping by. If you like the video, please drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and, yeah, just thanks for your ongoing support. It's really, really great having you along for um, recording the games too. So, uh, let's get started. So, I think I'll try the Yellow Rush deck um, first of all and see how we get on with Yellow Rush. Um, I probably prefer that one slightly to Three Wishes just because I've used it a bit more and um, so I feel as though um, I can use it a little bit better. I think I make a lot more mistakes um, when using that other deck. So. Having said that, you're probably about to see me um, make loads of mistakes with the LA Rush deck. So yeah, we'll just have to see. I really want to experiment with a blue deck as well at some point. Um, so my friend Dez, who's linked off my YouTube channel, who also does fairy videos, go check out Dez. Um, Dez has put a blue deck together fairly recently as well, um, that I'm going to have to play against to get a feel for how that works. Because um, I think blue decks have been used a little bit in the, um, like the sort of tournaments at the end of each season. They've been getting a bit more popular. Um, so yeah, it's about time I look at making one of those as well, uh, if I've got the cards, of course, to do it. So, let's hopefully get a match sometime soon. Seems so really random in Fairy how long it takes for you to get a match up. If it takes too much longer, I might just skip ahead um, to the actual match. Okay, here we go, our first matchup. Let's see how we get on. Hmm. Not the best starting cards. Um, I usually quite like to have Wingate. Um, Wingate or Shaitan Demon as part of the start deck. So, uh, yeah, let's see what this guy does. Okay, single forest in the center. We have yet to see what this guy is running. Possibly, hmm. if we see any bone collectors, 
and then go down, then we'll have a good idea. Good idea as to what he is running, I think. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a buff deck. I can only assume. So I'm thinking we should probably. Probably start building. I mean, it's a little bit further out than I would have liked. Um, he could probably build a land there and there um, to block me off, which will push me away. Yeah, so that's not a bad move by him. And then slide that onto there. Yeah, which isn't too bad. Uh, we do have the flash wind. And then he's just destroyed. I'll move into there as well. Okay. So I think what we're probably going to do here is to, uh, let's see, I think if we get a Kalim's follower down, we can flash win this guy over to here and get a hit in on him. Probably pop out the Shaitan Demon as well. He's going to have to move back and attack there. Which should free up that tile for us too. And of course, by us not um, not killing the Eridan card there, that won't give him that plus one plus one boost for the rest of the cards in his deck. Um, however, Lier is starting to launch an offensive. He should probably. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't build there. Um, he, he may place a card here to stop me from nudging over. That was an interesting move. So he is going for some win cards himself as well. Okay. So he's sort of um, sort of whittling him down at the minute. Obviously, he does have um, he does have the offensive in terms of his land tiles near to ours down at the bottom here. Um, He's only on six magic, so he's not going to be able to drop down too much. And he could use a soul drain, take out this, or a, a wind soldier. If he has a wind soldier. Hmm. Ah, okay. So he's, he's forfeit then, so that's one, um, that's one game down. As you can see, I haven't played Fairy for a while, um, so I'm getting a ton of bonuses at the minute from stuff. So that's kind of cool. In fact, what are they? Ten yellow cards, ten blue cards, and create lands. Okay. Right, let's go for another one then. Um, again, so just in between the matches, if this takes a while to load, um, I'll just bring it back in um, for each match rather than you watch the countdown. Um, so yeah, not a bad start so far. Kind of don't know why that guy forfeit. I mean, I would have thought that there would have been a way maybe for him to come back from that, but... You know, well, you never know. Maybe he's just in a rush. He didn't want to, didn't want to carry on playing against us. Okay. Don't have to uh, fast forward it this time. Okay. Hmm. And these aren't particularly bad cards, to be honest. Let's get some good. Uh, let's get some positive vibes, some good karma going out, and throw this. Uh, throw this guy greetings. Another. Another forest deck.
So yeah, so we're gonna push straight towards this guy. See what he does. Now that's interesting. I wouldn't have expected him to do that, to be honest. He's building up his magic. It, a ruining would be bad. Um, I mean, that card he's just put down there is not too bad. Oh. The chances of all the cards, of all the cards he could have drawn. Would you believe that? <laughs> Let's see. I'm thinking it might be worth just crowding him at the moment. Um, I might just pop this down there actually. It's a block off. I'm going to save this um, to use on his runin and to move him back a step. Uh, if that's something that he try, if he tries to rush us to get the two two lots of ten damage. Yeah, which it looks like he's going to try and do. He's going to push forwards. No. He's forfeit too. Which is kind of weird. I wasn't expecting that, um, to be honest. So, Okay, we're now into rank 1. And we've got one of our daily quests, which is cool. Got some more coins. Okay, let's go again then. So the episode's not going too badly so far. Um, kind of against a couple of people that probably are a little bit defeatist. Um, they should probably have maybe stuck around for that because once I'd used that flash wind on the Runin, um, I wouldn't have really been able to do too much else to stop him unless I'd have drawn a Last Nightmare card. Um, but again, obviously using the Last Nightmare card on Runin, he's just going to come back again anyway. Um, although it wouldn't be 10 damage after having killed him, um, it would have been 6. Um, he still could have done quite a bit of damage there. Okay, and we're straight in. Well, I say straight in, relatively, relatively quickly into another game as well. Against Jazzy Draw. I'm just going to be another one of the unranked dudes. No, no, he's rank five. Okay. Again, not too bad. I think I'll probably take those cards. Um, obviously, he gets to go first this time, which isn't great. Keep spreading those positive vibes with the greetings. So I'm thinking actually that if I don't, um, if I don't get up to god rank with the uh, yellow rush deck I'm using at the moment, I'll probably switch over and try the three wishes deck. Uh, maybe do like a couple of episodes, one episode for each deck that I use. Um, having said that, if the yellow rush deck actually works and then gets us to god rank, I'll probably uh, I'll probably call it quits there, to be honest. Uh, this is interesting. So I'm going to push up again a little bit further. This is, this is dangerous by me, um, taking so long to actually get the wind tiles down. Um, on other days I would probably have played a wind tile there just to have got the first one out but um, that was quite a defensive move quite a defensive move by him there um, so now out, yeah, so out comes his explore card so I can get one wind tile down there um, I assume he suspects I have a wind deck by now, um, rather than running a neutral deck. You don't tend to see many neutral decks around. Okay, so there's the one wind square. Surprises me that he didn't drop a card down actually there to be able to move it onto my wind tile on the next turn, just to block block me off. 
Uh, I mean, he's clearly. Uh, so is he going to go for some soul eaters? That said, he hasn't played. He hasn't sort of sacrificed any cards yet to feed through to the soul harvester, or whatever they're called. I think it's a soul soul eater soul harvester. We'll find out shortly. That's what he plans to play. He does need two of each: two forest and two water. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So it looks like he is going to go for he is going to go for that deck. Interestingly enough, uh, I think for now we'll probably stick around here. Um, and start doing some damage to him. Get the Callum's Prayer used. We do have two soul drains to defend there, uh, if we need to. And I'm thinking we should also drop the monk out. Okay, nice. And uh, we've now got an air elemental. Which frees up a third option over there for us. Which is where we can put down the demon. And I think we'll save the two soul drains for now. So I'm just going for... So, uh, I'm essentially, as you can see, I'm just trying to crowd him here. Um, because I find sometimes that if you can crowd around their god um, with several cards, obviously, as I've done here, it can um, it can fluster them slightly. Uh, it's also, obviously, good that um, I've got that one forest there covered and the land tile covered in the middle because he can only, obviously, put cards down on those two. Um, which doesn't bode too well for I mean, the Shaitan Demon... Uh, although, yeah, you know, it does two damage to us each turn, which we can counter with the soul drains. Um, be interesting to see how he deals with this. Now, is he going to put something down in the middle? If he has a taunt card, uh, no. So again, it's like I said, it's that whole swarming them thing. Um, you know, it tends to work quite well. But you obviously you rely on, on a bit of luck um, in terms of getting the right cards. Obviously, for that to happen. So, um, yeah, quite comfortable, I suppose, with with how it's going so far. This next game, um, this next game could be the one that pushes us into um, sort of god rank. This has always been the um, it's always been the barrier game for me. Um, is this final one um, just before you hit god rank? I'd sort of touch this point, I think, twice earlier on in the season, um, and then I tend to sort of bounce back off it. Uh, just below God rank, I tend to drop back down to either like a low level one um, or a high level two, which is obviously where I started at the start of this episode. So let's see if we get lucky with the cards again for this next one. The, uh, I think the fairy of gods have been favouring me so far um, with these card draws, to be honest. Plus, I'm, I'm wondering if because it's the last day of the season, you know, people are just looking for some quick wins to move on, and if they feel as though they're not going to get it, they'll they'll just quit and go and try another match somewhere else uh, to pick up the pace. So, we're, oh, okay, so we're against someone exactly the same rank. So this is going to be uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, so having an air elemental at the start is obviously quite good as well. Um, it's not great that he got to go first there. Um, so I'm thinking this this turn, um, this game rather, I'll probably drop a wind tile down here um, and then maybe use the air elemental to get a second one down. And depending on what he does, he could push three land towards us actually, which would obviously mean we'll have to divert around either side. Depends on the sort of deck that this guy's running. Or girl. Are we going to see a forest again? No. Interesting. Very interesting. So this does give us scope to push up a little bit with the land there. Um, and on the next turn, um, depending on where he blocks us with his land... We can drop the air elemental down um, and potentially deploy one of these guys as well. And like I said, it, uh, a lot of that does depend on how he plays this now with his lands. 
I mean, he's got the explore card, so he's probably going to fill up those two, um, maybe even three if he uses maybe another water card there. And ex uh, sorry, uh, neutral lands. So he's going for explore there. Um, okay, that's um, that's an interesting play. Is, is he going to? Is this going to be a control deck maybe? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we are now, of course, dropping down some of these. Um, we do need to hope. Hope for some good cards. He can take out both of our cards now. Um, I mean, he will also lose his two frogs as well if he does that. But he's at quite a bit ahead on magic, so that wouldn't be too much of a concern to him if he does. He needs to take out my wind elemental um, because he's not going to want to take four damage. It's an interesting play. Do you need to hope that we get some good cards now? Um, so five and five. <laughs> this is interesting. I'm partly wondering whether I should drop down the two Shaken Demons, to be honest, rather than the Kalim's Follower. I think we will. We'll go for both of those just to just to keep the pressure on him, um, and obviously to match the damage that his mirror phantasms do as well. And um, with them obviously both having five five to start with, it does mean that we can sort of um, obviously cancel each other out slightly here. Magic situation is not too bad because the deck that we're running, most of the cards are quite cheap. I.e., you can sort of play one each turn when you get the three magic replenished. Um, but yeah, this could be, this could be quite tough. Obviously, he's going to want his victory just as much as we do, um, because he's also on the brink of getting god rank. My question now is: Is he, is he going to sacrifice the mirror phantasms? Because if he does, that's two magic less he'll collect next turn he may he may only sacrifice one of them interesting so he's going on the offensive down this side which opens me up for a third a third desert tile there if we need it um, which obviously also means we could play um, we could play last nightmare as well if that's something that we want to do question now is is he going to sacrifice this and not be able to get the magic he is. Um, and he's now playing another card. So he's going also with the uh, with the water elemental. Okay, so this is this is quite good. This is quite good for us now. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is promising. What to do here? So yeah, I think this game is going to very much be a case of who can damage who the most first, because uh, he does have a good opening down here and a decent amount of magic. I mean, if he drops a, uh, not that I, not that I think he'd have one in his deck, but he could drop um, what are they called? One of the cards that I think it has five and four, or is it six and five? I can't remember what it's called. It takes three or four magic on the water deck, and you only need one water tile. Very popular card. 
obviously not that <laughs> obviously not popular enough for me to remember it, but he's 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 probably gonna have to go either there or there. I would suspect there unless he just pushes and goes for an all out attack. I mean, we, we do have this in reserve, which is also potentially a really useful card. Okay, that's also interesting then. Okay, so, what to do here? I think we'll skip for now. Um, he'll lose two of his cards up here, but of course still keep a third. But we do have two haste here in reserve. And the Death Walker, so um, yeah, essentially what this boils down to is can we do nine damage before he moves this down here and starts dealing a fairly large amount of damage to us. We could use Last Nightmare on this card, but uh, if we did that we'll have nothing left up here which will give him time to replenish his defence so it may actually be the best bet for us to get both both the Origin Monks down he's wasted a lot of um, to be fair he's wasted a lot of magic points doing that as well which I didn't expect him to do could be quite costly for him Yeah, he's going to cover all three of the uh, desert tiles up there now as well with what he has at the back and obviously move that forward to attack. So that changes the plan somewhat in that we may have to look at using Last Nightmare a little bit before we, uh, before we wanted to. Yeah, that's also interesting. I definitely didn't expect him to do that either. See, this has worked out quite well for us now. Hmm. See, I'm not sure if me passing there is obviously a good idea. Um, we do, we've got three soul drains left in the deck. So, I mean, the fact that we've got three soul drains left in the deck obviously means that we are due some of those to come round. The wind soldier here um, also gives us a little bit of hope. Um, he's just going for the crowding option at the minute at the back. Um, 
Which again isn't too good, too bad. I mean, unless he builds here, which he could well do, it's definitely worth him getting a land tile down there. Um, we can get the wind soldier in. Yeah, he's going for the land tile over there. He's getting quite desperate with his cards. Yeah, okay, now that's fairly huge for us as well. Uh, so. I think that takes three to move an enemy. Could get the Wind Soldier in there for six. Thinking we're probably going to get the, uh, the Zealous Crusader down. He's going to have to use Frogify on that if he's got it, which is going to clear him out of all of his magic. If he doesn't have it, unless he, yeah, it looks like he's maybe trying to draw for it. Hopefully that wasn't it there. Um, if he doesn't have it, then we can do a little bit of damage to this, his back line here with this. Uh, in fact, if he doesn't kill us, we can flash win that out of the way and push forwards and attack on the next turn. But there's a chance, obviously, he can he can read that coming, and he may um, move these to the back to stop us from being able to move that. He does need to drop two cards, ideally, one there and one there. It looks like he's thinking of... No. But maybe he was going to think of Frogify in there. Mm, so he's sacrificing his cards at the moment. Yeah, and doesn't have too many left here. Uh, let's see what we've got here. going to take out another one of his cards I could do with I'd love some soul drains to be honest I'm, 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 <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I'm slightly slightly annoyed that we haven't drawn a single soul drain yet because that would have won us the match had we got one yes yeah, so we can clear that with the choking uh with the choking sand. Uh, now, this is more like it. So, if I choke in sand and then call him. I think we'll go for that. Now, uh, now we are just one hit away uh, with the Wind Soldier. And we do have the Flash Wind. I mean, we would need... Mm, <laughs> this is interesting, he's left himself wide open. Two wind soldiers now. I shaten.
This is a good match. This is a really good match, to be honest. I'm um, really enjoying this. Whether we win or we lose. Um, yeah, it's been really good. Come on, nine and six, five and three. He's got a lot more cards left than us. Um, I don't think he's going to need them with the fact he's got the Wave Crash Colossus. We've lost to a, a pretty disappointing deck on his part, though, to be honest. His deck's absolutely nothing special, so I'm not sure whether I've... Uh, yeah, I've probably made loads of mistakes in playing this, but, um, yeah, it's a shame. So it looks as though we're, yeah, we're not going to make uh, God rank this episode. Um, it looks like it's definitely going to be the next episode because we have lost this one. The fact that we didn't draw any soul drains is disappointing. I assume he's got another haste jump card as well now to, to finish us off. <laughs> 